and I'm Rob, we're from Don't Tell Charles in Kensington. We serve specialty coffee and handmade cakes. So the name for Don't Tell Charles originally came when I was doing some coffee research and discovered that King Charles II tried to ban coffee houses in England in the 17th century because he thought that uh, men were going there to discuss politics and him in particular, which he didn't like very much. Originally I started baking because Robbie had this thing called a cheat day when he would let himself eat whatever he wants. Uh, usually that means a lot of cakes, so I had to bake a lot of cakes and he will usually put himself in a sugar coma at the end of it. I originally got into coffee because it was basically an escape from work. I was working nine to five and the coffee break in my day would be a nice little 15 minute break where I could get away and focus on something that wasn't um, what I was currently working at. In the shop you find a range of sweet stuff from brownies, cookies to cake slices, macarons, all handmade from scratch um, on site. We also do custom cakes for weddings, birthdays, special occasions. Um, I'd like to think that I have a particular style and most of my clients understand that my style requires a certain level of creative freedom and they tend to give me that. The reason we serve Padre coffee is because they were originally the ones who taught me a lot about sort of the process behind coffee and how it's roasted and where it comes from and that really pushed my curiosity to the next level. My philosophy is keep it simple, um, less is more. That applies to pretty much everything we do here from the ingredients that makes up a particular dessert to the decorations on a cake. To me, quality and execution is key. We know most of our customers by name, uh, if not by your coffee order because Robbie the freak tends to remember everyone's order even if you've been here just once. And when you come in, it's basically like stepping into our house. There's a lot of things that represent us from retro video games to comic books to the obscure hip-hop music that I like to play at certain times. And if you have a crying child, I will play Wu-Tang because Wu-Tang is for the children. <laughs>